Bill, Bill is not angry, first of all, to our <laughs> listeners. Bill is not an angry person. Bill is a very happy person. <laughs> Bill is a married man. He's a father now. Congrats on that, Bill. By I the got way. two kids. I had another one. I was going to call you, but I knew you wouldn't return the call. Yo! Uh, my last movie did well enough to have you send over your little Heart of the City fruit basket, you piece of you shit. Talk about Yo! Heart Rhyme from the vineyard. What are you talking about, man? I'm talking about you. Yo, 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 welcome back to my channel. It's Girl Big Dirty. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing so well. Thank you so much for asking you guys. It's been so long since I've done Bill Burr. I've been on this like Louis C.K. train, but I just seen this got uploaded. It's Bill Burr roast Kevin Hart on his own podcast. I'm assuming it was Kevin Hart's podcast and Bill Burr was, I guess. And Bill Burr going to do some roasting. I'm excited to hear this because y'all know he don't hold back. He be going in. Yo, chill, Billy Burr. Chill. Okay, enjoy. You know I love me a nice roasting. Mmm, roast chicken. Hey, you call me since Yo! I actually meant like rotisserie chicken. I wasn't making like a racist comment. Oh my god. Oh my god, don't cancel me. Listen, it's in the name of comedy. Everybody relax. Hey, you call me since 2003. You, you shut up, Bill. People don't know that. This is Bill Barr. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey, I'm Bill Burr. Now, Kevin Hart was somebody that I thought I was friends with, but I realized quickly that he just needed a spot at Dangerfields. Yo! And then he booked a pilot, and I don't think I talked to him again. I had, like, kids, and I didn't hear from you. Jesus. Bill Burr, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting into the mind of Bill Burr. Bill went late for his own podcast. Bill, are you ready for this? This is the best part that I think... This is, this is what's... He's going in, yo. He doesn't care. Yeah, tell me how you really feel, uh, William. Oh, my God. By the way, those of you who are like, his name isn't William. His name is Wolford. Quiet and shame on you for not knowing that his name is William. Google it and then come through because you're going to get the one, too. Okay, continuing. Mind-blowing that people are going to love. <laughs> Bill Burr. You have your, your, your own name on your fucking sweatshirt? Yo! Outside of that, I mean, I don't know why you don't. Kev? We know who you are. Just in case you didn't, Bill, I wore a shirt to remind you. What's the big fucking deal, man? All right? It's just I'm a shirt. hoodie with Kevin Hart. I hand out hoodies to homeless people because I care about downtown L.A. Go see Jumanji Part 19. <laughs> the studio system has ruined you. <laughs> Bill... Bill is not angry, first of all, to our <laughs> listeners. Bill is not an angry person. Bill is a very happy person. Bill is a married man. He's a father now. Congrats on that, Bill. By the way. I got two kids. I had another one. I was going to call you, but I knew you wouldn't return the call. Yo! My last movie did well enough to have you send over your little heart of the city fruit basket, you piece of shit. What are you shit. talking about? Yo! Like, bottle of heart rhyme from the vineyard. What are you talking about, man? I told you. <laughs> it would have got there. Bill. I love you the vineyard. Can we tell the people, Bill? Do you want to get out there and stomp on the grapes? Yeah, I do. So fuck off. I do. Uh, Bill and I did a pilot, ladies and gentlemen. We did a pilot for Comedy Central. Yeah, it was called Heart of the Shitty, and it wasn't <laughs> picked up. <laughs> yeah, this is, yes, let me clear this up. This is before I got big. This is before I got big. Bill and I did a show. It was, you were like, it was right before. No, you were already starting to blow up. And I remember there, there was a moment. Well, we were actually oh going to tour together. We were going to yeah. do a black and white tour because I was almost ready to go to theaters. You had just started going to theaters. And then a week later, you went to arenas. And that, wow. that's when you stopped calling me. No. And no. that's when it was, Kev. I, Yo, I actually feel like Bill Burr is kind of like hurt. You know what I mean? Because I feel like... I feel like Bill Burr is a very genuine person. He he gives me a lot of like the Dave Chappelle vibes where he, he he's... He's not going to let Hollywood change him, whereas I feel Kevin Hart kind of let Hollywood change him a little bit. He kind of got caught up in the fame and the ladies and the money and this and that and the movies. Where I could see how, you know, and I'm not saying, I'm not blaming him for it. It's hard. It's hard to keep yourself grounded through all that. It's insane. It's, it's, it's bigger than life itself, you know? But... Knowing how, because I've been listening to him, like, nonstop, like, I think in Bill Burr, bro, it's too much, <laughs> um, how he is, it makes sense that he would be kind of hurt by that, like, I can tell, like, he's, and it's not because he's, like, being, like, a hater, it's not, he's, he's not jealous from, you know, his, Kevin's success versus him, it just, like, it just seems like he wanted that friendship to continue, and 
Man, sometimes you don't know why people act the way they do, and it, but it, it's it's painful. People underestimate how painful a friend breakup is, or like when a friend starts ghosting you or acts out, uh, starts acting a certain type of way. Like it's painful when that happens in relationships, and everyone kind of talks about that and all this shit, but no one really talks about how that feels when it's a friend that does that to you. It's painful. That shit hurts. Stop calling you after the show, guy. When you stop calling me, no, that, no, 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 that's when it was, Kev. I stopped calling you after the show got after the show didn't get picked up because I felt like you fucked me. I said that I said you Bill Burr. You want to go out to the clubs until four in the morning and then showing up thinking you're going to Eddie Murphy your way through it and start improvising. You took that whole thing down with you. I'm still bitter about it. Yo. <laughs> Bill, I would love you if we could get out of hand. Opportunity to get screwed over by Viacom. Do you think I'm willing to bet you, Bill? I can probably get my hands on that pilot. I'm willing to bet you I can, man. I would love to get my hands on that fucking pilot just for you and I. Because we can't show it. We can't do shit with it. How much fun was it? I'm fucking around, but Bruce McCullough, you and me, dude, that was so much goddamn fun. I will, I will say this, man. Bill Burr, for those who do not know it, uh, lately, as of late, I mean, Bill, you, you're just, you're popping up all over the place as far as acting. But yes. the the Staten Island movie, what's his name? Well, Pete Davidson. What's the title of it, Bill? I don't know. It was called uh, Jumanji Part... Uh, was it called it, Jumanji? That's my movie. What the fuck hard. was it called, man? Uh, Get Hard. Was it? That's another no, one of no. my movies, Bill. Wait, I get the it. The King I of Staten it. Island? Uh, Soul Plane with White Fuck off. That's, those are my <laughs> movies, United Airlines. <laughs> God damn it. He said United Airlines. <laughs> what was it called, okay. Bill? It's called The King of Staten Island. The King of Staten Island. Judd right? Apatow and Pete Davidson. Judd Apatow, who ruined my friendship with you because you, you booked his pilot and I never heard from you again. <laughs> <laughs> you left me, Kev. Bill, I'm going to say in this movie, you did what I knew back then when we did that pilot, man. Bill has always been a fucking... You've been a phenomenal comedic actor. And you know they say that we don't have it. They say as comedians, comedians can't... We can't make the transition. A lot of comedians fail in making that. that transition. I mean, you a lot said of people that say. specifically. Who's Don't call Donald Trump on me. Don't start telling me that people are saying shit. I'm well, they listen, back. what they're doing, I'm telling you what they're saying. Everybody knows it. You know <laughs> what? I, know. I like how Kevin has literally no response to any of the shade that is being thrown at him. And I don't know if he, because he doesn't have a response. I feel like Kevin is witty enough and quick enough to have a response. But I feel like he feels bad. Do you know, like, he, he's being called out. He's being called out to his face. And... I don't know if a lot of people would do that with Kevin right now. Like, on, on a low-key serious note. Because, like, even though Bill Burr is laughing, he's low-key serious. Do you know what I mean? So, I feel like because Kevin Hart's so big right now in Hollywood, a lot of people, like, kiss ass. And that's that's what humans do. We kiss ass, right? Um, I said kiss, not eat. Okay, everyone relax. Uh, but I think it's interesting that Bill Burr is just, like, you know, and I think that's why he's, he doesn't, Kevin is like, not really, I feel like there's some sort of shame there. Like a little bit. You know when you feel bad, like guilt, like you feel guilty, like, oh shit, man, I did do that. I should have been a better friend. I could have reached out more. I shouldn't have let this get to me. Yeah. Anybody knows. That's my favorite thing. I use that now on my wife. You know what? I know what? Everybody knows. Everybody, everybody knows it. What are you saying? People say it. People fucking say it. Everybody, everybody says, says it. it. You everybody. Know what? I know what everybody says. It. They said the comedians couldn't act for years. But Bill Burr, you cracked the code. You cracked the fucking code, man. He's excellent. And back then when we did that pilot, the reason why I brought up you during The King of Staten Island because you did a fucking phenomenal job in that movie. But back when we did that pilot is when I got to see, I was like, yo, Bill can actually fucking act. Bill's good. Because I was coming in, like you said, with the improv and I'm coming in with all this shit. And not once were you ever flustered. You were never bothered by it. I was annoyed, and I just used that if that you you were like going out. To, I don't know where the hell you were going out. Sky bar every damn night. Dude, you said one of the funniest things ever to me on that pilot. Because in between takes, you know, before I shaved my head, I was losing it back here. They come in doing all this stuff. You said, you said, Bill looks like a fighter in between rounds. We were in between takes. Everybody coming in. It was out of all the shit people have ever talked. I'm not saying it as funny as you said it. But that was one of my favorite things. You know, comedians, we love to get trash. So that was one of my fav- favorite things anybody ever said to me. I, I, I can say during that pilot, 
you and I, we had a fucking amazing time. We had a blast. And the show actually came out good. The show was funny. Of course, things don't work because show. it just don't work. But the show was fucking funny, man. It was. It's you know what's funny about you one time? I remember, you, I remember you trying to show me how fast you were boxing. <laughs> and I'm sitting there going, Kev, I'm a 40-year-old white comedian. Like, this is not impressive. <laughs> you should be able to touch me. <laughs> this is not you guys putting on for your listeners we were in some stupid parking lot and he's going I'm fast <laughs> doing all this stuff and it's like alright Kev you're fast I get it you almost seem taller when you're doing that Kev well it's yo hey I remember man I don't think there's anybody that I can annoy more than Bill Burr I have I have probably triggered some of Bill Burr's angriest reactions in the New York City oh, comedy no, club no. No. I'm talking about of annoyance. I remember, oh. Bill, you were, well, we were teasing oh. you one More day. More than Patrice? No. No, Patrice, Patrice oh. used to piss you. More man. than Chief? No. All right, you're right. I was probably in fourth or fifth no. place. No, you yeah. were, you came in quick. You Patrice came in definitely, quick. Patrice used to get you. Patrice right. used to get you, for sure. If Patrice oh, got I, you. I never worried about you, but Patrice, if I knew he was going to be there, I would have, like, five things to say about him. <laughs> Like I would think it like locked and loaded just to, to try and hit him. Until this day, then I would, then I would, I'd be, I'd say all five in the first minute, and then I was fucked. <laughs> you know what, man? Until this day, I still don't understand how a funeral happened and they turned it into a comedy club. Mm. Until this day, Patrice O'Neill, how they turned it. Oh, that in, funeral was great. That was one I of the mean, best shows I've been to. I've never, I've never seen anything like that. In my life, you know, for our listeners, you Patrice bugged O'Neal. me at the funeral. You bugged me. I did. Because you showed did. up. You were wearing like a pair of Jordan ones. You look like you're going to do a spot at Caroline's. I'm like, that's what I said. I go, Kev, this is a funeral, man. You're dressed like you're going to go do a spot at State Up New York. And you, this is what you said. You go, no, Bill. I'm dressed like the comic who made it. Oh, my God. You said that at a funeral. Jesus. I was like, I know this guy's an asshole. I didn't know he's that much of an asshole. Jesus, yo, you almost Bill. had me saying, well, I played Carnegie Hall one time. I almost <laughs> said that at a funeral for my friend. That's how much of an asshole you are. <laughs> what the fuck? We went to Patrice O'Neill's funeral. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, we had so many comedians. First of all, Patrice was one of the most loved guys, I mean, on the scene. Like all right, he, let's not throw too much. He was also one of the most hated, too. <laughs> yes, but he was a comics <laughs> comic. He was a comics comic. The comics loved you know, him. If you were funny, you loved him. Yes, if you weren't funny, you hated him. Because he let you know that you you stood no chance in this business. He well, if you weren't him. funny, you stopped working the village, because that's yes. where he was. You stayed uptown. You didn't want any problems with that, because he was the no. guy to go, ugh, this guy, ugh. Ugh, God, who let... Ugh. I remember Eddie If one time said, dude, he goes, some nights I'll walk into the cellar and he'll yell across the room, hey, Eddie. And he goes, and I think, oh, he saw me. People <laughs> 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 like that used to come into the upstairs of the olive tree and they used to try to pick the first open seat to just, you know, slink in and stay away from him. That's oh, all. We hope you had a blast witnessing the verbal jousting between comedic heavyweights Bill Burr comedic and Kevin Comedic heavyweights. Remember, I love that. Remember, laughter is the best therapy. So keep seeking those twisted moments of humor wherever you go. Amen. Amen. <laughs> laughter is therapy for your soul. Make fun of everything and anything, including yourself. Do it, man. It's healing. Life ain't that... It's not that... It's not worth it, man. It ain't that serious. We're willing to die. Uh, <laughs> but um, speaking of, I think it was really sweet that they brought up Patrice. It's kind of... It's kind of sad, man. But I did, had no idea that they did sort of like a comedy slot during his, uh, his funeral. But what a tribute, man. Like, what a way to honor someone in... During, you know... It, during that that type of farewell like especially in in their own art like amazing that's awesome i had no idea that they did that and it makes me love all of this so much more but yeah kevin hart got roasted man he bill burr wasn't playing around it killed me though to hear that when like bill burr had stuff to like prep to when he was if he was if he knew he was seeing uh patrice that's just how good patrice was man it's crazy it's crazy it's, uh, it takes a certain type of brain, you know? It really do. 
Thank you so much for joining me, you guys. Let me know what you thought about this. Do you think uh, Bill Burr's really upset? Do you think Kevin Hart knows this and he's just trying to get the podcast situation moving along and he's not trying to dwell on it too much so he doesn't get called out more? That's kind of what I think is happening. But I want to know what your take is. Or do you think... You know, oh, you know, this is just some banter, you know, Bill really isn't, doesn't really feel that way at all, you know, he, he don't care. I want to know what you think. I feel like Bill is a very genuine person, so if he says something, he's just keeping it real. I ain't go hold ya. Be sure to check out my socials below, be sure to come through, and be sure to check out my other comedy reactions. I have a ton if you're new to my channel. It's, I don't know, I have like 500 videos, something ridiculous. Uh, there's more coming too, huh? There's no shortage of dirty here. Okay, so good to see you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye! I love you.